Alright guys, today we are going to play the World Cup with every single nation possible. We are going to have four, six tournaments of 32 teams. Then the remaining 20 will be sorted out. In that situation, the winners of all of them will play will play each other again to sort out the final winner of and the best national team in 4-23. And start round one, we have some shocks. Bolivia beat Brazil. Belize went through. Austria went through. Andorra. Antigua beat Bosnia. Bahrain beat Afghanistan. The rest of your usual winners went through. Barbados beat Brunei. Bhutan beat the British Virgin Islands. Belgium and Argentina went through. Uh, Armenia, Bermuda, Azerbaijan, and Albania also go through. For the quarterfinal, we have enough great shockers. Bhutan beat Argentina 4 2 in the quarterfinal. Then Algeria lose to Burkina Faso. So actually close to not being able to play the semi final, but Algeria still go through. Algeria beat Burkina Faso and Albania beat Bhutan. So in the finals, Austria versus Burkina Faso. Let's see how that one goes. Let's quick sim that. And Austria win the first cup, so that's how it's going to go. They have qualified into the grand finals. In this tournament, too, we have several power series. We have Canada versus Cameroon. We have England. We have some small, small people like Cambodia, like Victoria, Guinea. So, like, well, these are the matchups for round one. These are all the teams that are in the competition. I feel like your favorite is England, but let's see how the competition goes. We say the favorite of Brazil, but both Brazil and Argentina are out in the first one. So in tournament two, we're not at the end of round one now we're in quarter final. So let's start with the summary of round one. Canada beats Cameroon, England go through, Czech Republic go through, Chile beat Ecuador, Croatia beats Cook Islands, El Salvador will go through, Denmark go through, DR Congo go through, Cote d'Ivoire go through, Cyprus go through, Egypt go through, Eritrea go through. Round of sixteen, England beats Canada to go through, Chile beats Croatia. Colombia beats Denmark and Cote d'Ivoire beat Cyprus. That's, that's the quick summary of those. Then in the quarterfinal, England beat Czech Republic. Chile beat play El Salvador. The Democratic Republic of Congo play Colombia. And Cote d'Ivoire play Egypt. So I think uh, let's go to uh, see how these matches end up. In the quarterfinals, and that's shock of the tournament, England out Czech Republic 2 0. But Chile, the Democratic Congo, and Cote d'Ivoire going to the semi finals. So Chile beat Czech Republic and DR Congo beat Cote d'Ivoire. So for the final, we have Chile versus the Democratic Congo. So for the winner of the second part of the 212 team World Cup, we have the winner of Chile versus the Democratic Republic of Congo. And Chile win it extra time, 4 3, after a Alexis Sanchez and Pablo Diaz. So our second finalists for the grand finals is Chile. Let's see how they go through. In the third tournament out of the six we are running today for the World Cup, we have round one in which Germany beats France, Ethiopia, and Hungary go to our super highlights. Italy beats Gabon 4 0. Guinea beats Hong Kong 7 0. That's the nice thing for them. Iran beats Iraq. Finland beats Guyana. Guinea Bissau beats Ireland. Israel beats Honduras. Iceland beats India. For the round of 16, Gem Germany beats Ethiopia. Hungary beats Fire Islands. Greece beats Guinea. Italy beats Haiti 6 1. Finland beats Iran 4 3 on penalties. Israel beats Iceland. Grenada beats Indonesia. That's for the round of 16. For the quarterfinals, we have Germany versus Hungary, Greece versus Italy, Guinea Bissau versus Finland, Grenada versus Israel. Let's see how those matchups play out and I'll show you next when we hit the final. For the semi-finals, Germany lost Italy and Israel beats Finland. So for the finals, Italy win the entire tournament. We have Italy 4 0 against Israel. So there are third tournament winners and the next entry into the grand finals. Let's enter the next tournament. So we're now into part four. This we have several smaller matchups in these tournaments. Shout out to the smaller countries, I guess. We have the Maldives, Liberia, Jamaica, Lithuania, Macau, Mongolia, Kyrgyzstan. So I honestly do not know who wins from this tournament. Let's head out and see who is in the same finals. But I would consider Mexico favorites. So we have now read the final, but let's just get the group summary of it. Round of 16, Jamaica beats Lebanon, Mali go through, Lesotho beats Luxembourg, Moldova, Japan, Malta, and Mexico go. Quarterfinals, Jamaica beats Kazakhstan 3-1, good, goodbye to Kazakhstan. Mali beats Lesotho 4-0, Moldova, Moldova lose to Liechtenstein, and Mexico beats Malta 4-3. What a valiant effort from Malta. Jamaica lose 4-0 to Mali and Mexico beat region time for 2 0. The final is now Mali versus Mexico. I would honestly expect Mexico to win, but let's see how this ends up. And it's a few quick summits. We expect 
Mexico. Mexico is one the fourth of the six. So let's head on to the fifth of the six and let's see how that one at it ends up. We now have our fifth entry into this entire situation. We have two teams such as Portugal, Netherlands, we have Qatar, we have Romania, Morocco, Norway, big ups Nigeria, Russia, Montenegro, North Macedonia. Let's head on to the semi-finals and see how this entire tournament ends up. So we're not in the semi-final, but let's do the round recap. Cristiano Ronaldo, Portugal beat Palestine, Panama beat Paraguay, Netherlands beat Peru. So those three are good. Morocco beat New Zealand. Romania beats Myanmar 5 for penalties. Papua New Guinea beats Pakistan. Nicaragua beat Russia, which is a special matchup. Philippines beat Puerto Rico. Poland beat Northern Ireland. Nigeria beat Oman. Monterrey beat Niger. Mozambique beats Nip Montenegro. Round of 16. Same heads going forward. Portugal, Netherlands, Romania, Morocco, Nigeria, Philippines. Montserrat and North Macedonia offer. How is North Macedonia this for? North Macedonia is in the same final. Okay, this is serious. Three, two matches. Nigeria versus Philippines and Montserrat versus North Macedonia. While Mo Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal is out to Netherlands and Morocco beats Romania for three penalties. So these are same final matchups. Nigeria versus North Macedonia and Netherlands versus Morocco. So I love to see the actual outcomes of these matches. But let's show you live. We have Netherlands beating Morocco. And I'll show you the final matchup. We also then have Nigeria versus North Macedonia, which will end up to be a special matchup. And Nigeria beat North Macedonia. So the final is going to be Nigeria-Netherlands final. The last match of tournament five. And the winner of the tournament is Netherlands, not a shocker. Nice, nice second place from Nigeria. Let's head on to tournament six. Into our last tournament, we have Ra 26. Sorry for the name in the corner, I was completely oblivious to that. We have several powerhouse of nations, such as St. Kitts and Nevis, Saudi Arabia versus Serbia, Senegal versus Scotland, Sweden versus Switzerland, Rwanda versus Samoa, Tajikistan versus St. Lucia. That's a very special matchup. We have San Marino versus Seychelles and Spain versus Invisit. Obvious runners up should be, obvious winners here should be Spain. But I would love to see San Marino get knocked out 9 in, in the first round. But let's see how that will end up. So San Marino is also on the game which is ideally funny. So we played the entire tournament for tournament 6 so I can get to show you the entire tournament structure. But let's show you the highlights. Serbia beat Saudi Arabia. Scotland beat Canada. Sweden beat Switzerland. Tajikistan beat St. Lucia. Tanzania beat Slovakia. San Marino win the game 3 0 which is impeccable. Spain beat St. Vincent. South Africa win. Slovenia win, Sao Tome win, so I think that's, let that go for round one. Round two, Serbia beat Singapore 5 2, which is a bit aggressive. Scotland win 2 1, Sweden 1 0, Tanzania 1 0. And the second page is where things get rowdy. Oh my goodness me, San Marino beat Spain 4 2. I wasn't expecting that at all, but let's continue on to Slovenia beating South Africa. Quarter finals, Serbia beat Scotland. Sweden beat Tanzania 2-1. San Marino win a game. What is going on in this situation? Syria beat Slovenia. Then in the semis, Serbia beat Sweden 2-1. And San Marino finally fall to Syria after a valiant effort 4-3. Big up San Marino. End of the tournament, 2-1 Serbia. And that's the end of the first six teams to qualify. So let me show you the remaining structure for the remaining three teams that will enter. I went to one with one of our two unofficial rounds where the team number will not be the same as the third two. This one has 16 teams ranging from Uzbekistan to Timor Leste to the US Virgin Islands to Trinidad and Tobago to Tox and Calcius. I, I don't know what I pronounce. If you have any word from there, correct my pronunciations. Let's see how the winner of this particular pass one goes. Into our past one and Uzbekistan beat the US Virgin Islands, which is a bit mean of them. Thailand beat Uganda. Turkey beat Togo, Tonga beat Turkmenistan, that's a very Iceland, Islandish matchup. Uruguay beat the Turks, I'm annoyed at that. The quarterfinals, Ukraine beat Uzbekistan, Thailand beat the United States of America. I guess Greg Bahalta is still coach. Tonga beat Turkey and Uruguay beat Tunisia. Semi-finals, Thailand beat Ukraine, they have done it again. And Uruguay beat Tonga 5-0. The final is Thailand versus 
Uruguay. Let's see how this match ends up. But I would think it's a Uruguay match. And you guys be them better current the Asarasata score. So we have our first honorary member of the finals. For our second is the last group match to show before the grand finals. We have our final group where the smaller teams get to show their places. We have Uzbekistan, Zimbabwe and the rest in their quarter finals where these are the matchups. The semi-final sees Uzbekistan and Zambia go through and the final is Uzbekistan versus Zambia. So we actually have the final eight including in Uzbekistan but let's see whether they can overcome the final hurdle. Zambia beat them on penalties. So let me quickly just make the final grand finals and I'll show you that.